How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip. Mike here, still at the Hell Expo. You've heard about human drone, right? And I've probably covered one or two on the channel, but what I'm gonna show you today may not actually be for the civilian world, but stay tuned. We're gonna check out the cargo. Only about two years old, this here is called the Cargo UAV. And as you can see, it looks like a massive drone. But this thing, just, just let me tell you a little bit about it. It's been in research phase for about a year and a half. And the company, uh, they're building this out of Connecticut. And right now, they're looking to get it tested and then move forward with certification. And as you can see how massive and very low key this thing is, you can already tell target market is probably gonna be the military. But something that's unique about the cargo is this, right? So this thing can carry hundreds of pounds. With full fuel, you can carry up to 600 pounds. Depending on how far the distance that you need to go, then the weight that you can carry can increase or decrease. But this is fully automated, meaning you program whatever you want for the mission and it just goes. But what's unique again about this bird is that you see the structure below it. This is where your, your load or cargo will be. So that's the aircraft and this is your cargo. And basically it's designed to get to its destination and just drop off the cargo. And I was asking the folks here like, hey, why? Is that because I just assumed that it would be something where there's a back door, you just get in, get all your stuff out, and then you go, right? But for safety reasons, they don't want people getting close to this rotors here or the blades. And that way, you just let the thing do its job, drop off the load, and it's either going to shut down or get back on its way. But I, I thought that was well thought out. But let me go around it for you and just see how cool this thing looks see here you've got just like a drone you've got four blades two up front two in the back and the material you have here is composite and aluminum and they've told me that they're still in the workings basically and most of the inner shell is going to be aluminum and then you're gonna have composite as well and then speaking of the power so again this is no ordinary drone it's actually gonna be powered by a turbine engine. If you're familiar with the Rolls-Royce engine, this is the same engine that is used in the Robinson helicopter, the R66 to 300 horsepower engine. And that would allow this drone to cruise roughly 120 knots. Again, depending on the distance that it needs to travel, uh, you may get better speed or better load, whichever the case may be. Uh, and ultimately also will determine how much fuel you put in the aircraft. Now, in terms of numbers, as far as pricing, again, this is still in research phase and certification phase. They actually don't have a set number or price for the civilian market. Now, you also think about the missions that this can serve or the industries that they could, this can serve. We've mentioned the military, right? So you can basically drop off load to soldiers or foot soldiers or somebody at a different base if they need supplies that be food you know shelter whatever the case may be you'll be able to drop off that remotely with something like this and then you think also the medical industry can use this uh, i don't know if amazon will be able to use something this big but it's a possibility and then also you think of agricultural industry this will go in nice for a big, big agricultural industry. And then oil rigs too, you can use something this big to help with your process and help get things done efficiently. But I just imagine that this is gonna cost a pretty penny. With that Rolls Royce engine and all the nice automation you get with this, I just imagine that it's gonna cost a pretty penny. Come, let's take a look at just some quick overview here. Cause let's see, let's see how this thing takes off. So as you can see, this is essentially what you would get in terms of load, right? So you'd be able to carry up to 600 pounds and then you can also have a pod that it can drop off. So 
again attach something to it i have a nice pot here let's see on the specification you've got again a rolls royce 300 shaft horsepower your vna is 121 knots so you're probably going to be cruising less than that your maximum payload it says 800 pounds and fuel burn that's how much fuel you're going to be burning per hour and the maximum altitude for this drone is about 10,000 feet. You can just tell that the military is gonna be the primary customer for something like this. And you can see all the several, uh, several missions it can serve. So remember what I said earlier about the range, depending on how far you need to go, then your load will increase or decrease. So you see, it can actually travel over 500 miles, but with that, you're likely going to carry less load. So the shorter the hours, the more load you can carry, right? So 2.7 hours, you can carry 300 pounds. 1.2 hours, you can carry up to 600 pounds. And then you come on this side. Yeah, so it, it decreases based on uh, the amount of load that you carry. And that's typical for anything that flies. Now let me show you some nice graphics here, how to store this thing. So it says rapidly deployable. There you go. Wings fold. You can store it. And then when you need it, it comes right out and does its job. Very beautiful. Well, I wish I can tell you the pricing on this, but as I said, it's still in research phase. And my hope actually is that they get all the way to certification and this thing will actually have a real world use. Anyway, my name is Mike. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe with notification bell if this is your first time. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.